From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. We had another very warm day today here across eastern North Carolina as temperatures managed to make their way well up into the 80s and a few locations were just a degree shy of the 90 degree mark, but we're still sitting at 86 degrees at our pirate cam. We got a little bit of serious cloud action going on outside uh, crystal clear uh, blue skies and overall just a very nice day to just get out and about for today. So for tonight, temperatures will be dropping down into the middle 60s, 66 degrees, clouds increasing a little bit late. We'll have an upper atmospheric disturbance around helping to just increase clouds, but not really much precipitation uh, with this. We'll have a northwest breeze initially coming in out of the north and west at around four miles per hour, but then heading out the door tomorrow, you're going to be needing the t-shirt once again, sunscreen, sunglasses, shorts, buck spray as well. It's going to be a hot day, certainly in the forecast as again, we're still seeing temperatures right now into the mid to upper 80s. But as we look ahead, certainly going into the evening hours tonight, temperatures will actually make a run towards the middle 80s, certainly by 11 a.m tomorrow morning and then we should get somewhere into the lower 90s by tomorrow afternoon. And I have to say some of the latest forecast guidance suggests temperatures certainly further back towards Rocky Mount Goldsboro near the I-95 corridor getting close to the middle 90s. But one thing that's going to be different, even though the humidity is going to come back, it's still going to be a little bit too dry to have very high heat index values. Even along the immediate coast temperatures can make a run towards the 80s and then going into Monday, we'll see temperatures rebounding back into the low to middle 80s and then heading into to tomorrow night. We go from the lower 90s to the 80s around 9 p.m. and then we'll have some a chance for a few showers later on during the overnight hours as we'll have a cold front arriving and then eventually we'll start seeing a drier a period arrive back into the forecast as we head in to around Tuesday and going into Wednesday. Quick look at the tropics. Of course, one area that we look at this time of year for tropical development is certainly closer to home and right now the tropics is still very quiet across uh, the uh, Gulf of Mexico and also the Caribbean Sea here and even all the way up off our coast, but you start noticing you got showers and storms even across parts of the main development region. So tropical cyclone development is not expected at least over the next five to seven days. But looking ahead, we're still keeping an eye on an area at least uh, within the next uh, two to three weeks for possible development as we look ahead at your forecast. But again, over the next eight days, 93 degrees for tomorrow, 20% chance of a brief shower, but the best chance will arrive going into Sunday evening. And then heading into Monday, we cool down just a tad back into the low to middle eight. 80s overnight lows also decreasing respectively as well down into the lower 60s. But then heading towards the end of next week, we'll start seeing the humidity start to increase yet again. Air temperatures getting closer towards the lower 90s and rain chances right now around 20 to 30 percent. So again, we're definitely locked in with the summertime pattern, certainly across yeah. the east. I know for some kids, this is the second day of summer for them. Perfect weather to get out to the beach and have some fun. That's right, especially tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a hot day. Low to middle 90s, certainly possible. So yeah, certainly get out there to the beach, you know, stay cool if you can. Yeah, and rock that sunblock, right? That's right. All right, thanks, Russell.